Hi, Jennifer Field with ID8 TV. Here I am with some of the lead of the cast of TNT's The Last Ship. Uh, I'm going to have each of you introduce yourselves, your character, and what would you do if you were stuck on a chip in a post-apocalyptic world? What would be the one thing you had to have? Wow, interesting question. Um, my name is Christina Elmore. I play Alicia Granderson on The Best Show Ever, The Last Ship. And I think I would just need a lot of candy. I feel like it makes me happy, it gives me a little energy, and it helped me stop thinking about that I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, name is, no, my, name, my name is Travis Van Winkle, I play Danny Green, and I think I would have to have someone to cuddle with. I like being spooned, like, I like when my lady spoons me from the back. I'm not holding her, she's holding me, I would need that. That's not too much information at all. <laughs> Um, I just got a visual, and it's odd because I'm kind of the same way. Um, I like that cuddle thing. I'm jealous of that. Uh, my name is Jocko Sims. I play Lieutenant Burke, and I need wet wipes. Keeping it real clean. Keeping it, I mean, just because, I mean, it's, you know, I can't be, yeah, that's the one thing. If it's post-apocalyptic, you got to, you know, be fresh. Can that's I revise? Toothpaste. I want toothpaste. <laughs> if I got to choose something, I'd want Charles Parnell. Oh. Master Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Parnell. Charles Parnell, Master Chief. Thank you for joining. Uh, very happy to be here. If you were stuck on a ship in a post-apocalyptic era, just like in the show, what would be the one thing you need or wish you could have? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. It survives forever. It's got protein. Um, you can spread it on anything else you can find. Oh, And... Uh, I think it was a little... It depends on who you find. <laughs> but peanut butter. And jam. And honey. There's like one item there. You got, you got, you got too many items. Uh, you guys seem uh, like a really fun and crazy cast. What is it like on set together? <laughs> like this. <laughs> We're I'm laughing. So ready for We're talking. Two to be over, like these people. Yeah, it's a friends. lot. It's a lot. <laughs> no, we have a lot of fun. We think we really like each other. We got really lucky in that we work with some really awesome, awesomely talented, but really fun and open people. So it's been great. Season one was great. Coming into season two and filming through season two, I felt like our relationships and our camaraderie it just went to a whole new level of awesome. This this season's been great. It's pretty amazing to echo what you said. It's like it really is a blessing to be in a group like this where everybody likes and even damn near loves every, each other. And uh, we joke around a lot. I mean, we're, we're saving the world and it's so dramatic half the time. So in between takes, we're, we're rarely serious. Basically, what you're trying to say is uh, in the midst of coming up with a cure of a virus of sickness, we've created a virus of love for all of us. I love this. Like, I, I thought it was going to be a peanut butter callback. That's why he's the master chief right there. That's it. And I, I know how to spread the love like peanut butter. That's what I'm waiting for. On that note. <laughs> Jennifer Field with ID8 TV.